Kashima, 15% of people, but 33% of the towns. In total, more than 3.5 million black voters were marked for the towns. The clinics of rust belt, industrial areas, and rural farming communities, Wisconsin was one of Trump's key targets. But Milwaukee, with its big black population, has always been a democratic stronghold. The black population of the whole state seems to live here. Yeah, about 70% blacks who live in state Wisconsin live in the city of Milwaukee. Reggie Jackson grew up in the city. The Democratic Party particularly takes for granted that black people are going to vote on the Democratic ticket every time, right? One of the things Hillary Clinton did, a big mistake she made, I think, in 2016, she campaigned in Wisconsin in April and never came back to the rest of the year, right? And so a lot of people were very upset by that. On election day 2016, Something unusual happened. Turnout among black voters in Wisconsin collapsed by 19%. CNN projects that Donald Trump will carry the state of Wisconsin, <laughs> equal win Wisconsin, with its 10 electoral votes. He's cracked the so called blue wall that Hillary Clinton had tried to create. The margin of victory in the state, just 23,000 votes. Afterwards, Donald Trump boasted that black voters had helped him to win. And then say, what the hell do you have to lose, right? It's true. And they're smart and they picked up on it like you wouldn't believe. And you know what else? They didn't come out to vote for Hillary. They didn't come out. The collapse in turnout here in Milwaukee called its neighborhoods, helped fit the whole state with Trump. A lot of that collapse is blamed on a new rule passed by Wisconsin's Republican administration requiring valid voter ID. 